A surge in RSV patients continuing to overwhelm hospitals nationwide. Doctors across the country scrambling right now ahead of the holidays. Seattle Children's Hospital is just one health center among many facing severe challenges. The Seattle area is weighing the return of a mask mandate to help contain the spread of COVID, the flu, and also now RSV. Joining us to discuss this this morning, Dr. Tony Woodward. He is the Medical Director of Emergency Medicine and Chief of the Emergency Medicine Division at Seattle Children's Dr. Woodward, uh, it's been a few years since you and I talked. It's great to see you this morning. I wish it was under different circumstances because as I understand it, uh, your team is in crisis mode right now, approaching disaster mode in the emergency department. Describe what you're seeing. You know, it, I think you described it well. We are in a crisis mode. I don't know if we're at disaster yet, but we're close to it. But it's an overwhelming combination of RSV virus, influenza, and now COVID is reaching back out again. And that's on top of all the other complex and chronic conditions that we see on a daily basis. So as a result, you've set up a mobile unit outside the hospital. Describe what that looks like. Have you had to turn any patients away? You know, we never turn anybody away in the emergency department. Uh, we've never diverted anybody, uh, but we do use a lot of ancillary spaces, including hallways, storerooms, lobbies. We've built an extra lobby. Uh, an elevator lobby to see patients and we have a tent outside that we use on occasion to either take care of overflow or especially contagious patients. How much above capacity are you right now? Oh, currently we're about 200%, but we've peaked at 300%. And um, that's really challenging. Our really sick patients will get seen immediately and they'll get the interventions they need. But the patients who are a little bit less ill but still need to be seen have a longer wait. And that's really challenging for our patients and their families. Right. And for your staff, this must put a great burden on your nurses and doctors. You know, it's a really interesting time where everybody is short staffed across the country. And this relentless surge has been going on for a couple months. And it's coupled with less. Um, availability of care in the community and less availability on our inpatient units because they're totally full. So the ERs are boarding patients, meaning that they should be in an inpatient bed, but they're not. And that takes a lot of ED capacity. And the staff is really working hard to try to keep those patients safe and get in the care they need, as well as all the new patients who are coming in. As a result, what is your message to parents of youngsters, not just in the Seattle area, but who may be watching nationwide right now? If they've got a sick child, at what point do they bring them into a hospital uh, that is already overwhelmed? Well, for the families, I wouldn't worry about the hospital being overwhelmed. We can deal with that. Um, I would worry about how sick the patient is. If it's a minor cold or a fever that's low grade and been going on for a couple of days, try to contact your primary care provider. Try to look at telemedicine options. Try to look at urgent care options in the community. But if you're ever worried that somebody is especially ill or you're concerned, bring them to an emergency department. You'll get medicalized immediately. We'll triage you appropriately. And if you're not that sick um, in our medical eyes, we will see you. It'll just take a little bit longer. But if you are really sick, we don't want you at home or worried about the weight and not coming into the care you need. Yeah, first and foremost, come in, get the care for your child. RSV, Dr. Woodward, has been around for a while. What's different this year? What are you seeing with the cases? Does it have anything to do with the pandemic? I think it does. I think that we were more isolated and more quarantined in the last several years, and RSV did not come as strongly last year as we expected. So I think we have a lot of children who are relatively naive to these viruses. So it's a standard routine virus. It usually affects little kids under about six months of age the most severely. But we're seeing children under two being pretty darn sick, and even the ones between uh, three and seven years old are having increases in asthma and increases in respiratory distress because they just haven't seen this virus before. Uh, just quickly, before we uh, run out of time, a mask mandate is being considered, especially as we go into the holidays. Is that something you would support? Absolutely. Any way that if, if you're around sick people, you're going to get sick. And if you haven't been vaccinated, you're even more likely to get sick. So if you can do anything to either quarantine yourself, not be around sick people, or if you're going to be out and about putting on some sort of barrier, I would say that's a wonderful idea. Yep, we all have to do our part um, to make sure that we get through this holiday season safely. Dr. Tony Woodward with Seattle Children's Hospital, thank you to you and your staff for all that you're doing. Appreciate it. Thanks so much. Nice to see you again. You thank you for watching. Go to NewsNationNow.com to find NewsNation on your television provider. And don't forget to click the red subscribe button below to get more of NewsNation's fact-driven, unbiased coverage.